Darren Harlow here with Five Arrows. What we have here was a mixture of time code systems and the various cameras and sound devices that I use them with. Many of you asked for how do I combine Tentacle Sync with the Atomos time code system and I'm going to break that down individually on the sync parts and also show you how I tie the various elements together. On this side over here, we have the Tentacle Sync. We have an Insta361R, Panasonic G85, GoPro 9, I also use GoPro 7s, both of them black. And I have a Zoom F6, which can sync with both the Tentacle Sync and with the Ultra Sync as well. That's why it's in the middle, because it can go to both. Over here, we have the Tascam Porta Capture X8. We have the Zoom H3 VR, which I use for spatial audio, specifically tied with the Insta 361. And you need the Ultra Sync 1 and the Ultra Sync Blue in order to make this all happen. And I will break it out on the individual parts, such as how do I tie GoPro, the Zoom F6, the Porta Capture X8, etc., for you. All right, so now. We're gonna do some recording with this and show you how we set up the tentacle sync, first of all. Go to tentacle setup, right here, choose the orange one. Choose this to set to phone time. Say okay, I'll sync, sync to this device. So right now it is syncing this tentacle sync and now it's in sync with the phone. From this, we will exit out of the screen. And we'll turn on our tentacle sync one. Also turn on our tentacle sync blue. So now we have the tentacle sync synced with our phone, which gives us our flashing green light right here. Next, we need to sync the tentacle sync with the ultra sync one. Notice the ultra sync one and blue are already in sync with each other. So we'll take the enable and connect it to the LTC side and plug it into the tentacle sync, which is acting as the master. Actually, our phone's the master, but the tentacle sync can act as its own master. We then cycle through. And we say jam LTC time code. You'll notice that as soon as this picks up the time signal from the tentacle sync, that the time code will change on here. Now the time code is jammed. Notice it also instantly jammed it over to our UltraSync Blue as well. Now all of these are now in sync. With this, we can do a variety of things. With UltraSync Blue, we can sync the Zoom H3 VR. We can sync the Tascam Porta Capture X8. We could also jam sync and give time code to the Zoom F6, although I prefer to use the tentacle sync externally in here and then use the time clock on the Zoom F6 at that point. The other benefit of the tentacle sync is by using the GoPro, I can QR code, scan, do my time code that way. That way I'm not jamming and using up my audio signal that way. So now we will show how we do the GoPro sync next. Here we have the GoPro. And what we will do is do the, what I do is the following. First, I go to QR control. I always set it to 24 frames and time of day. Then I hold this up in front of the GoPro and we get our time and date sync. That way, if I have five swap batteries, I know everything is the same. Next, I use the technical time bar app. 
this case I'll choose the orange one and then I hold that um, under the GoPro and that the way it is set you get the QR time code you get the GoPro offset and the frame rate all set to the GoPro now this is in sync and so I can every couple of hours when I'm using these I will jam sync it just to get everything clean at that point point. and that's how we sync the GoPro next we'll jam sync the zoom f6 notice the time that's down here and that's the internal clock all I have to do is take the tentacle sync move the time code in and out right here on the side plug this in Give that a second and you see that it instantly changed and updated the clock at that point. So now this is in sync. And again, every couple of hours I'll jam sync it just to be safe at that point. So that's how we do the Zoom F6. We could also use it with Bluetooth with the Ultra Sync Blue. But that's an option I just prefer not to do at this point, although it is set up and ready to do it. Next, let's cover the Porta Capture X8. Go here. Go to general settings, go to other settings, go to Bluetooth, go to time code. It's connecting. And now it's connected. And it'll pick up the user bits here in just a second from the UltraSync Blue. And we do have our time code. Notice it was in sync right there. Now we have the H3 VR using the BTA1 Bluetooth adapter. Choose time code. It's connecting to the UltraSync Blue. Sometimes this one takes a little bit. connected. You notice now we have time code right there. The last items to talk about are the Insta 361 r Panasonic Lumix G85, I even have a Sony 4K video camera. All of them I just split off the audio track using the splitter cable from the tentacle sync, run it into the mic jack on here, and then uh, run a separate little mic can even run a scratch audio. I've got many shotgun mics or anything that gives me scratch audio. And I can combine it if I'm using either the Tascam or the Zoom at that point and take all of my audio there. But because I'm using the audio devices right now as part of my demo, they're not being utilized. I'm using a Rode Wireless Go connected to a GoPro at this point to have everything else working. Appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day.